All right, continuing on with Rage in the Cage 173 here in downtown Phoenix. Man, a great night so far as we roll on with the amateur portion of the card. Jim Greeshaber and the big deal UFC star Ryan Jimmo in the house on the web stream. And this one, Jimmo, Brian Canejo Stevens making his MMA debut. You take a look at him there against Sheldon the Thriller Miller Stevens at 5'6", 141 pounds out of Phoenix. But very exciting to finally get in the cage. You go so long and you train after you decide to take up the sport and you say, hey, maybe I can make a run at this. Let me see how I'll do against some competition. He's going to find out how good he is here tonight. An exciting time for any fighter the first time they're stepping into that. And, uh, you know, every guy reacts differently. We're all different creatures. We're all wired a little bit differently. So some guys embrace it and they, they, they are able to run far and wide. And then some guys maybe don't even embrace it the first time. I mean, my first fight, I got knocked out cold. Right? First so in that fight? First, first ever uh, professional MMA fight got knocked out, but then I went on a 17 fight win streak. So it, it's hard to say this is him Miller getting his feet wet and never act, reacts a little bit differently. I wonder if that guy's still running around talking about that story whenever he sees you fight. <laughs> it's like an old Al Bundy I like football UFC. story, you know? Like, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, Peg, I was the best football player. You know, he's still talking about those four touchdowns he got in high school. Here's Sheldon the Thriller Miller at 5'5", 151, 2 and 0 in the cage, fighting out of Mesa. Sponsored by Yellow Cab, if you can't tell. I can't tell that at all, actually. I saw you wearing a shirt for contrast. I love the hat, though. That's a pretty sweet lid as Sheldon the Thriller Miller. And, and look at that body, Jim. Yeah. He's got an elite athlete's body. Yeah. Um, sometimes those guys can't use those bodies the way other guys can, but he passes the eye test for sure. Absolutely. And, and, and this is something that I, you know, I'm you know, i always talking about. Is like the athletes are starting to dominate MMA. You know, like, like 10, 15 years ago, it was guys who, who lived in the gym and the guys who were tough and trained all the time. But now you're seeing athletes starting to go over there because there's more rewards here now. And you're going to see the athletes become the king of the cross. Because those are the guys, the guys that are coming over from the NFL, the guys who are, if they weren't fighting, they would be a professional athlete in another sport. And these are the guys that are going to start to dominate. You see there the UFC gym hat and training out of there as Miller makes his way into the cage. For this bout here, it's going to be a lot of fun. Jim Greeshaber, Ryan Jimmo, as we said, UFC 173, the debut event for Nathan and Nolan Highland. Let's go to Rockin' Rick Reyes for the intro. To announce our first round, she is one of our rage babes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for their next bout, on my left, fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing red trunks with white trim. Making his debut here this evening, he is five foot six inches tall, 141 pounds. Coming to us from Phoenix, Arizona, he is Brian Conejo Stevens. His opponent on my right, wearing all black trucks, fighting out of the blue corner. He is sponsored by Yellow Cab and comes to us in Mesa, Arizona. Five foot five inches tall, 151 pounds. He has a perfect record of two wins, no losses. He is Sheldon, the Thriller Miller. Our referee for this bout, Bobby Waldenbacher, will be giving them their instructions. Gentlemen, we've been through the rules in the back. I expect to leave in the back. They might have used all the time. Take us up close. Now, push you down. If you want to see each other, let's talk about it. All right, as we get rolling here with Brian Conejo, Steven Sheldon, the Thriller Miller. Stevens at 141, Miller at 151, only an inch in height difference between the two. There you see Stevens now at the top of your screen with Miller on the bottom. Now Miller to your right in the black trunk. Stevens in the red as they circle each other, Ryan Jimmo, to get this fight underway. And, oh, right, he's coming with some heat there. Going to be interesting. I mean, you're seeing two extremely different body types here, and it's going to be interesting to see. Whoa, he's on top of <laughs> That's something I didn't expect considering the athleticism we're, we're, we're looking at right here in front of us. Stevens came out on fire, throwing some shots, ends up with a takedown here as Sheldon the Thriller Miller fights from his back early on in this fight. 
And it's going to be interesting to see if he can get I mean, he's in full mount, you know. It's going to be interesting that that athleticism, that obvious strength and physique can overcome. Um, I think, from what I've seen with the hips and stuff, oh, maybe better technique on, on the other side. Hard to say. It's too soon. Stevens continuing to work from the top position against Sheldon and Thriller Miller, who's done a good job so far, not absorbing much punishment on the ground. He wants to rear up and start throwing some punches, and... Uh, our bottom man has to get low. There's that less of them right there. Stevens going for the oh, armbar. Not going to get it. He wants to get out from underneath there, though. A big, strong guy punching on top of you. You do not want to be underneath there. Doing a good job defending, though. As Sheldon the Thriller Miller now mounts from the top position after the failed armbar attempt from Stevens. Talk you know, sometimes when we're watching some of these amateur fighters, you know, a lot of them, they're landing a lot. And, and when you start first learning to fight, usually your first instinct is to attack and be offensive. So defense is something that usually comes later on in a guy's career. And in, in their oh, he's taking some bad Look at shots. Miller at. now <laughs> from the top now gets back to his feet, circling around Stevens. But like I said, defense is something that you learn later on, and, and, and it is a, a something that you see in a season pro. And we're looking at this might be a finish. Are we gonna? Can you get his hooks in? Can you Stevens finish it like looking this? for the choke. Get those hooks in. Rather Miller out. on top of Stevens looking for the choke. Gets the elbow I, in. I think that's in. That looks like it's deep. Sinks it in. I can't oh, see much from my angle, though. Talk to him. Come on, folks. Looks like he's going to get it. Looks like he's going to get it. Referee's right, right on top. And there's a Sheldon tap. the Thriller Miller taps out Brian Stevens with the choke. Oh, he looks like he's almost. No, he's getting up. He's going to get up. <laughs> Stevens came out looking really good to start. Throwing blows, got the takedown, had top position on Miller, went for the armbar, couldn't get it, gave up his back, and from there, Miller never let him go. And what we saw right here was an example of a guy who just basically out human being another guy. You know, he just like, his athleticism, he just like kind of picked him up, turned him over when he was reversing him, you know, and uh, I, I don't even know if this fight was like entirely a, a, a matter of it looked like it was a matter of who is a bigger, stronger human being. Miller had the 10-pound weight advantage. Look at that physique on him as he goes to 3-0. Steven starts his career at 0-1, and Yellow Cab is happy. They get a little camera time there, but a, a nice comeback win by Miller, who certainly didn't expect to be on his back early in the fight, but ended up having to fight, and sometimes you have to do that. I mean, sometimes you get a little unexpected takedown or something like that, and you have to fight from your back to get that win. A good job by Miller as we go up to Rockin' Rick Reyes for the decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the official time, 2 minutes, 11 seconds in the very first round. Your winner by submission, rear naked choke, Sheldon, the Thriller Miller, out of the blue corner.